to oppose the change and shift the, uh, and uh, to oppose the change and decrease the number of chloride ions the system will make more uh, um, chloride ions and ag plus ions react more so as they will react more equilibrium will shift to the left and as equilibrium will shift to the left more of agcl solid will be formed so from our saturated solution now we will have a white precipitate in our saturated in the solution because more of agcl solid will be formed so this is called the common ion effect because both these uh, both these solutions have the cl negative ion in common one is the solution of a solu sparingly soluble salt and one is the solution of a soluble salt so in this case the cl negative ion is common to both of them and as its concentration is increase incre as its concentration increases upon the addition of nacl more of agcl solid is formed because uh, obviously uh, le chatelier's principle take will uh, will uh, will be taken into account so more precipitate will be formed now we'll do an exercise on the common ion effect and on solubility products so silver bromide is sparingly soluble in water and we can see agbrs gives ag plus aqueous plus br negative aqueous and the solubility product is this you can see it's such a low value so because it has such a low value you can see how insoluble agbr is so it says that calculate ag plus aqueous in a saturated solution of agbr so if x amount of this dissolves in the saturated solution then i have x amount of this and x amount of this now let's write an expression for the solubility product it will be the concentration of ag plus times the concentration of br of br negative and both raised to the power of 1 because the stoichiometric coefficients are 1 so in both case we have x amount the concentration of both is x in the saturated solution so we will write that this is equal to x um no this is not this one the other x this is equal to x times x because both are x so this will be x squared so the concentration of ag plus ions which we have to calculate as x and ksp is equal to x squared so so x will basically be under root of ksp and this will be under root of 5 into 10 to the power of minus 13 which gives me when i use my calculator it gives me 7.07 to 3 significant figures into 10 to the power of Minus seven. Yeah, so seven point zero seven into ten power of minus seven mole per dm cube. So this is the concentration of Ag plus because the concentration of Ag plus is uh, is x and we have calculated x. So this is seven point zero seven seven point zero seven into ten to the power of minus seven mole per dm cube, and this is the concentration of Ag plus ions in solution. now it says state and explain whether agbr will be less or more soluble in 0.1 mole per dm cube kbr than it is in pure water so now uh, it uh, of course it will be less soluble in kbr because kbr has an i kbr dissolves completely so if i have to write an equation just to explain it to you if i have to write an equation kbr dissolves completely to give k plus aqueous plus pr negative aqueous so now we have an ion in common in agbr and in kbr we have an ion in common we have the pr negative ion so it will be less soluble in kbr because the common uh, ion effect will take place and more agbr solid will form so it will be less soluble in kbr compared to pure water because kbr has a common ion which is br negative so when i so as the concentration of br negative increases equilibrium will shift to the left and agbr solid will be formed so it will be less soluble because it forms a solid precipitate and precipitates are insoluble so it forms a solid precipitate and uh, therefore the answer will be that it, the agbr will be less soluble in kbr than it is in pure water because of the common ion effect simply because uh, we we understand what the common ion effect means so because of the common ion effect 
Now let's do this question, which is the next question. Uh, let me erase. Yeah. 